everybody! Today we are going to make runes. Um, this lesson is going to be actually very short because making runes is a very simple thing to do. And those are my little neighbor doggies. <laughs> um, so anyway, I will show you uh, the runes that I've made and also show you a very easy, uh, simple way to make them yourself. So, let's take a look at the ones that I've made in the past. This is a lima bean set. I made this out of commercially prepared or, you know, like commercially grown um, lima beans. I just got them at the store. And this is the set that I use pretty much every day. Um, I really, really love it. This is a mini lima bean set. This is one that I keep in my purse and I actually um, grew these lima beans myself. Um, so they have some very special significant meaning for me. And this is a set that I made using river stones. Every year we go canoeing down the river and um, we take pit stops and stuff to cool off and you know get some water and whatnot. So um, these are ones that I collected throughout the day a few years back and I love this set. I don't use it as often as I probably should but um, anyway so now let's get on to making runes. So uh, first, when you you know want to make runes, you need to figure out uh, what your material is going you know like um, that you want to use. And um, today we're going to use lima beans since it's very simple and easy. And then you also want to get um, a list of runes. This is a chart that you can get at pretty much most New Age shops, and you can even download it for free online. Um, and then what you want to do is get your material which today like I said we're going to be using lima beans and you want to make sure that you get some without cracks I don't know if you can see this but this one has some flaws in it um, if you use this you know like this type of bean um, sometimes the um, the outside will flake off and then you won't be able to tell which rune it is so once you get your blank lima bean then you're going to want to use just a plain old sharpie and mark on the bean or the stone, whatever you decide to use. You just mark whatever um, rune it is, and it's just, it's that simple. And you just go through the chart and you just, or your list, and you do all the runes. Um, and then once you're finished, then you can bless it and consecrate it. And um, I like to keep mine with some sacred stones for specific or for various reasons. Um, but that's it, and then whenever you need to use them, you can just have them handy with you. This set I keep in this bag, and this set I keep in this little tiny bag, and then this set I keep in this bag. And then when I pull my runes, I also um, I use a cloth you know, to go with it, and this is actually just a napkin um, that we just had lying around the house, and so, um, it's very, it's very handy to um, have a sacred cloth to lay underneath it, and I blessed it and everything. So, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this very quick, easy rune making class. And um, if you guys have any suggestions for for any instructional videos in the future, please let me know. I have a few more things that um, I'm, I'm getting ready for. We're going to be doing uh, spell stars. And we're also going to be doing um, how to make a scrying mirror and um, just a few more things. So uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Peace out. Bye-bye.